Hello party people. I'm at Super Target right now. I drove about six hours to come to the largest Super Target in Florida. I'm totally kidding. I went like across the bridge. It's still a lot. I passed like 20 Targets on the way here. But this one normally has all the good stuff out before anyone else. I called this morning and said, hey, is your Target spot stocked with fall stuff? And he said, yes, we've been lied to before. So let's hop inside and see what they have. Is this not the largest Target dollar spot that you've ever seen? Okay, I already see some new fall stuff over here. So we'll explore this. This is old and boring. Ooh, new stuff over here. Oh, I spy a pumpkin. I spy with my crazy little eye. See some shelves. Oh, those things are pretty popular. I'm gonna do a deep dive, but I always just like to do a little overview. <gasps> okay, this is definitely fall stuff. I see fall colors. I see the word fall. That's exciting. Coming over here. Oh, that looks like college stuff. Huh, is it just that one aisle? <laughs> we may have to come back another day when they are fully stocked, maybe next week. Okay, well, let's just explore the new stuff and then in the same video, I'll come back in a week and hopefully they'll have more stuff out. I love this, it says it's homemade. I stirred it myself, that's hilarious. It comes with a little pot holder. These are normally $3, awesome. A couple of washcloths, wash your face, and then it has different prints and different colors. Oh, this one actually says reminder from mom, take a shower, wow, that's funny. If you need that reminder, let me do that for you right now. Take a dang shower. <laughs> Take a sniff first, okay? Give thanks with the pot holder. Oh, I am so excited for it. Thanksgiving, it's my favorite time of year. Pick your own apples with the pot holder. I really just like to eat. I think that's why it's my favorite time. Oh my gosh, the original cookbook. One of my favorite Friends episodes is the Thanksgiving one, so that's fun. <gasps> Wow, look at this thermos with a little cup. That is so darling for $5. They have a couple different prints, totally 70s. The mug does screw on and there is another cup, so that's nice. This is sweet. It's a little fondue set and it's only $5. It comes with a couple of skewers too. A couple of glass jars, one with a neutral lid, one with a black lid, and they're $5 a piece. Ooh, okay, a couple fall signs. This is exciting. $5, that's a pretty cute sign. I like that wooden heart. I love fall most of all. I feel like we're gonna see that a lot. Oh, I've seen these all over Instagram. $5 for two little uh, box crates. Possibilities are endless with those if you're a big DIYer. Look at this section over here too. Oh, I see pumpkins, I see spooky spiders, and this is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. Oh my gosh, I see a cauldron. Okay, I need that. Oh, $30, do I need it though? Hmm, no. Oh, okay, baskets. I like the different style moons. All right, I'm definitely gonna deep dive into this section too. Owls over there. Some more wooden signs. Wait, didn't we see, just see that? No, the bottom one had a wooden heart. This one says, I love fall most of all. So original. This is cute. It's a little chalkboard easel. Oh, it's a scoreboard. Okay, fun. And then the other side is blank, so you can write whatever you want. It's $5. That's fun if you like to play family games and stuff. Okay, more signs. Got a rubber band around it, but it stands up. If you can use your imagination. <laughs> I love fall most of all. Wow, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. That's really cute. I like the little leather detail or faux leather detail. Pleather, I should say. What does this say? Every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and you. Oh, and you. Welcome to our home. All right, well, what is this? What do we put in here? Candles, what does it actually say? Snack containers, are we, is this individual portion snacks? What are you gonna do with this? Snack container set. I would put like a votive in there. Maybe condiments? I have no idea. If you're in the market for one of those, that's pretty cute. They have some, oh my, what is this? $3 for this? What do we think? Is this worth $3? <laughs> and then they have one over here for $3. This one's actually kind of cute. I like the textures of it. Okay, people are already wiping out the pumpkins. Here's some pumpkins and I remember we saw this one, so I'm gonna bring it back home. These yarn pumpkins are super cute. They're usually a dollar and they are again, so that's a pretty good deal. I love how they changed it up this year. It looks a little different. They have a couple more signs down here. Here's a gourd. How much are these? Oh my gosh, they're double-sided. Love this, $5. 
multi-purpose hello fall and when you get bored because i know you're decorating super early you can flip it over moving down here they have some pictures this one's like a speckled color and then they have a gray color and that's all they have here five dollars for that they always seem to have pictures and stuff Ooh, you know what this is for apple what is that game called bobbing for apples that's what this is called can you fit your head in there good no one would <laughs> are you the kind of person who dunks their whole head in when you play that game so a couple different colors in those matte black and then the galvanized style moving up to these candles are these really five dollars okay they're three dollars which is better i sniffed all of them none of them smell like fall and i would not buy any of them but that's just me maybe you like different scents than me pretty accurate Ooh, a blanket shawl this is so cute and it adds a lot of color to your home just to decorate and it's super affordable at five dollars they also have this mustard color and then this uh blush color as well so that's cute oh my goodness and then look at these beanies five dollars and it's got the little puff on it oh and these come in the same colors the blush pink mustard and burnt orange and peek on this this shelf that i found what this, these are gonna go so fast. Are you kidding me? How much is this piece of crap? $5. And it comes with the little things to hang it up. You can hang it horizontally or vertically. I think this is just so great. If you have a small collection of essential oils or something, this would be great to um, store them. Moving over to this side, they do have an assortment of faux floral or foliage. They're $3 a piece. I think they're all $3 a piece. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, $3. And then they have these really sweet jars to put them in. I actually really adore these jars. They're $3 as well. And the shape of them and the height of them is really nice. They also have this amber color. That's really cool. I'm like the worst at putting floral arrangements together. So let's give this a try. Well, you know what? Target makes it so easy. Oh my gosh, Joanna Gaines, give me a call. Look at that. What is that? Three, six, nine, twelve dollars $12 for a floral arrangement. At Michael's, this would easily be $89.99, 40% off. Let me give you a better look on these. They're just darling. I think these are gonna go super fast too. $3 each, what, Target? You crazy, man. Oh, I really like this one. Family, you can buy something similar off Amazon. I made something similar last year for family members for Christmas, so I have the DIY on my channel. It's $3, it comes with everything that you need to like hang pictures and do the little family accent, so I think that's cute. That would be a fun little DIY. Oh, and they also have some stencils. Oh, and then these signs. Okay, you could do whatever you want with these signs. $3 a piece, so they have one that looks like this. Or if you're into symmetry, they have one that looks like this, so cute. Ooh, okay, what's this? First of all, these jars are selling like hotcakes. Well, I actually don't know, but I do see them all over Instagram. People like DIYing them, so that's pretty cool. This is a buildable wood wall art. Listen, I if I buy something, there's like 0% chance that I am going to DIY it. So if you're into that, it's three, is this $3? They have a bunch of candles with initials on them. I just sniffed them. They smell way better than the other ones. They're still $3 a piece. The purple and the green are my favorites, uh, but they're still muted scents, but better than the other ones. Okay, moving on to more fall, actually not fall, I don't know, new stuff. What the heck is this? An ice mold? Are we molding our ice these days to look so cool? I'm not at that level cool, but if you are, they have a couple ice molds for three bucks. They have some martini glasses for $3. Some are white and some are green and some are that amber color. I actually quite enjoy the green ones. Those are cute. And they have uh, clear and green ones. It was the same color, amber in the little, little glasses. Oh, actually these are pretty fun with the black at the bottom. Last time I said these reminded me of Petri dishes and this one most certainly does. They're coasters, but like, doesn't that look like a schmear kind of? This cup, oh, I bet you it's gonna fly off the dang shelves. It, ooh, maybe not, five stinking dollars. I don't know, it is really cute. All the trendy girls are gonna be sipping their hot cocoa out of these this year. Welcome to our patio bar, ooh. Ah, these are $5. I actually have no idea what it does. I don't have a bar or a patio. That's a lie, I have a patio. <laughs> I don't know anything about drinking. Is this just to keep things from like slipping and stuff? Good vibes, happy hour. Okay, fun stuff over here. Oh, a peeler. Okay, do you need one of these? If you do, come on down to Target. $3? I don't know, it better be real sharp. Ooh, okay, a muddle over here, three bucks. We're getting real fancy with our drinks. $3 for this uh, shot glass thing. What is this, a snuffer? 
No, a can it's not a candle snuffer. It is a stirring spoon. I mean, we're getting real fancy Target. Real fancy. Oh my gosh, martini shakers. Do you take it shaken or stirred? If you take it shaken, these are five stinking dollars. All right, what else do we see over here? That's new. I don't see anything else. They have a few clay things for you to DIY paint. If your kids are into that, they have this really sweet, what is that, a fox? Oh, these are a dollar, so cute. And then they have a bigger one over here. Oh my word, look at this owl. Look how darling he is. And little pumpkins. So these would be cute for like tea light holders or something. I have a bad boo-boo on my thumb. This hurts, okay, it hurts. Here's some martini grow kits. Oh, some rosemary. Do you put rosemary in martinis? See, I know nothing. Hello Fall, oh, another little DIY board and four pieces for $3. Okay, more candles, let me take a sniff. Rosemary Lime, okay. Moving on, no bad days, cool, cool. Don't let a bad five seconds ruin your entire day, I think is what that's trying to say. A wreath kit, now this is cute. I still don't think I would put it together, but this is a really sweet DIY. $3 for this too. I like that. I mean, you wouldn't be able to go to the Dollar Tree and buy all of this stuff for $3. So I think this is a really sweet deal and a little nice decor piece. This is a hanging sign set. Oh, another DIY that you can make yourself. And those are the different options. Oh my gosh, it's turkey time. Time grow kit. I want to buy this based on the marketing alone. Give thanks. Actually, the container it comes in is actually pretty sweet too. This is $3. I would pay five for this. That's great. Sage, I kill everything I try to grow, so that's a no for me, but if you have a green thumb, you go buy it. All right, let's dive into this section over here. I think it's pretty cute. The uh, bath hat rug is really drawing me in. The pumpkin, do they have prices on these? I don't see a price. Are you the type of person who decorates your bathroom? I'm not at that level yet. I don't even decorate it on like a normal day. Happy Halloween, oh, that's so fun. And then they have spider webs over here. You know, I love this, I love spider webs. Sorry, I'm not home right now, I'm walking into spider webs, so leave a message and I'll call you back. Does anyone remember that song or am I showing my age? Hand towels for $5. These are actually really soft uh, and I like all of them. Go figure, $5 for these? Why aren't these in the Target dollar spot? Maybe they should be, hide and eek. I feel like, yeah, maybe they will be. $5 for those for two, two towels, count them two. I'll give you a glimpse on, uh, I love the spider webs. You can get the spider webs and then the spider web mat. And that's a theme right there. It's all you need. Huge pillows. This is, pillow is massive. Uh, some placemats and then a table runner if that's your thing. They have little spooky spiders that will hold, I don't know, something small. Harvest brunch candle. I sniffed on this. It's okay. It smells nice. It kind of smells like a cereal, like a fruity, fruity cereal. All right, what's this? Oh, more placemats. Oh, these are actually really thick placemats, so that's fun. And then they have the table runner as well. I like the crow on there. I like the vibe of that thing. Oh, here's another table runner. This one's fun. It's got little tassels on the end. Okay, I've been thinking about this cauldron. $30 is actually not that bad because of the quality. Like this is gonna last you your entire life. If I had space in my house, I would 1 million percent buy this. Uh, sadly, I don't. And there are zero house prospects for us. It's like really sad and frustrating. I'm gonna sniff on these candles. Believe in Magic kind of smells like a campfire. Yeah, definitely like a smoky flavor or scent. Okay, here's trick or treat. I don't know, these are really cute candles and they're $10. So way cheaper than Bath and Body Works, but I'm not sold on either one of the scents. And then here's a skull candle. This one kind of reminds me of food too. I wonder if I'm just hungry, I don't know. Oh, and then look at this little pedestal. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is $20, but this is really cute. It's a metal tray with like crow's feet. So it is very festive. You can keep it forever and ever until you break it. But $20 for that, I would for sure rather buy a massive cauldron. Okay, over here, so excited about this spooky house. Is this $15? No stinking way, this is $15. Try me, <gasps> don't mind if I do. Ooh, the spooky just went to the next level. Why are there numbers on the doors? What is happening here? Why are there numbers on the doors? I have no idea, is it an advent house? I like it, it's really cute. How much is this piece of crap? Okay, $30 for this. Is that really all it does? Just lights up? Countdown calendar house. But I only see up to seven. 
Okay. <laughs> if you like that, it's here, $30 for you. This says Happy Halloween and they're little metal letters. So I think that's really sweet. Those owls are darling. Oh, some more garland. Is this metal too? No, this is definitely not metal. $10 for the garland, 15 for the metal banner. I like this basket as well. I don't know why this is over here, but I'm feeling it. It's $15 for this? No, there should be a throw pillow here. Nothing is in its place, okay? Oh, here's some more uh, candlesticks to match with that tray we saw. These are $10, so it says. Ooh, okay, I really like this pillow over here. I actually really like all the baskets. These are fun too, whatever they are. Lantern kind of things. Those would be great if you have a front porch to decorate or even inside your house. Oh my gosh, look how darling this pillow is with the crow and the pumpkin and the tassels on it. There's some uh, candle holders. And then this one really caught my eye. I really like the different moons on it. Ooh, and then pumpkins over here. Are these $5? ceramic pumpkin so those are sweet okay more oh here's the collection did you just hear my knee it's a problem at this point guys pumpkin bourbon okay Ooh, and then i'm feeling the fall vibes is this wreath really 28 dollars? i got my fall wreath last year on clearance i always like to wait till the end of the season if i can help it oh this is fun though fun and festive ten dollars for that floral leafy garland really get you in the mood for fall this one's really pretty too Oh wow, look at that white and cream. And then a little plant to match it. Is this really $5? Five stinking dollars for that? Okay, that is a screaming deal. For real, Michaels would have that crap for, I don't know, $98, 45% off. They've got some boho opal house stuff over here. They have this whole thing full of candles, autumn, ooh, fall day. I'm ready for a fall day. Ooh, yeah, I, ooh, I like that. Heritage pumpkin smells nice too. Ooh, cinnamon pumpkin muffin. Ooh, I love the cinnamon scents. 15 for the large candle, 10 for the smaller. And I found some fall pillows over here. These are just darling, of course, for me. I, I hate pillows because my kids throw them on the floor 700 times a day and it, it really just makes me wanna go to the loony bin, but these are really cute, give thanks. And then the trio of pumpkins. This one is our first Halloween pillow, I think. It says happy haunting. And then we have some more pumpkins over here. So these are $10 and they look really nice and firm. Ooh, 15, even larger. Let me give you the size difference, 15 and 10. And this little one is five, okay. What's your budget? Some more fall style over here. I don't think we saw all of these pillows, but they're very pretty. And then the blankets, oh my gosh, they look so stinking cozy for $20. And then more pillows on the third row. I actually really like that pattern back there. And what's the yellow one say? Grateful, beautiful, grateful, thankful, and all that good stuff. I'll give you an overview of the fall collection over here. This looks like threshold stuff. Heat hearth in hand, I just passed. I'll go back to it to show you. Oh my gosh, look at that magazine rack or whatever, newspaper holder. Wow, this stuff is gorgeous. I've been trying to stay away because I'm waiting to like get home decor until we move, but I, oh gosh, I wanna move so bad. This chair is beautiful. Autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. A hundred times over again. This is really pretty and it kind of matches really well with this stool down there. That stool's gorgeous too. That stool is gorgeous. Why am I even looking at stools? I don't know, because Target is making me. Look how gorgeous this store has everything laid out. This is the hearth and hand section, and this looks like their new autumn stuff. Really like the blue hues. Um, yeah, oh, their clocks are really cute. I don't know what that thing is, but that looks fun. Just browse the aisles with you. I don't know, oh, that looks old. I feel like the hues of Hearth and Hand are generally autumn-esque because they're, you know, basically neutral tones. So I actually don't know if any of this stuff is new. Oh my gosh, they have a KitchenAid over here. I love that color, KitchenAid, look at that. Okay, well, there's that. They definitely didn't have as much as I thought considering I called on the phone and the release date for this was actually a couple of days ago. So I wish all stores would just release it all on the same day. That should be a rule, but there is a Dollar Tree here. So I figured we would pop in there and see what kind of fall stuff they had. There's actually a Halloween city. I don't know where I parked. A Halloween city right here. It's not quite open yet, but they are hiring. I did see some fall stuff in the window and right up front they have some foliage and then some pumpkins. These are really cute ceramic pumpkins. They have a plethora 
of options autumn leaves and pumpkins please okay so that's the new slogan for 2021 this one says hello fall love oh okay this one says happy fall pretty cute they are plastic and then they have some more pumpkins down there oh look they have pumpkins with that was my knee again pumpkins with the initial there and then orange pumpkins with initials I find that if you do tiered trays, this is a great place to find things for your tiered trays. That owl is really sweet. And then they have even more pumpkins, pumpkins galore. Oh my word, and even more. Don't you think they lose out on money by putting the initials on there? Unless people are really into it. Ooh, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. This is a little hanging sign. Ooh, I like the beads. Look how cute that is. For one stinking dollar, I'm amazed. And then happy fall. Here are the three of them. Happy fall, wishing you harvest blessings. Okay. Oh my word. Take a peek on this. Treat fund. And there's another one. Oh, love. Blech. Okay, couple things. Yay. And I see some more Halloween stuff down there. I was worried it would all be summer because everything else is summer. Oh my gosh, actually this entire aisle is Halloween. They already have Halloween. This is the stuff I saw through the window. These little boxes, the monster boxes, those are so, oh, they come in two different sizes. Are you kidding? Are they both a dollar? How is that fair? You should get like two small ones for a dollar. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. Which way to the, oh my gosh, it's so funny. Which way to the party? Yes. I love that. This way to the party, my friend. This way, little witch. I'm gonna be a good little witch. Oh my gosh, okay, we'll explore that section, but I'm really drawn to the back wall here. I don't really know why. Here's some more ceramic pumpkins. Oh, they have a white one. Ooh, ah, they have little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is definitely getting me in the spirit for Halloween time. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so fun. Look at this little hand. Ooh, it's a palm reader. Oh, I've always wanted to get my palm read. Look at the detail on this. And it's only a dollar. It's just amazing. Look at that little spider, how happy she is. Okay, then they have these little tinsel looking things. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. The little witch shoe. They have a pumpkin and a ghost. Ooh, so spooky. And then they have some spooky spiders. Ooh, they have eyeballs on the spiders. That's a good little addition there. This spider that holds a tea light, I assume, is uh, in three different colors. Okay, these are the tinsel decor pieces and then they have the wooden decor pieces on this side hold on there's more tinsel right here i really like that bat how is that bat a dollar i'll never know i'll never know how dollar tree does it okay Ooh, look at these wooden signs oh they look so good okay let's move this one i feel like it belongs somewhere else where i don't know here are the wooden signs trick or treat got some pumpkins happy halloween that's actually a really nice size for us stink and dollar I've seen a ton of DIYs where they grab these long ones and then put a few together and kind of paint over them and make something else. But these are really nice too. I really like the white spooky sign. And then of course, trick or treat. I wonder if these are, oh my gosh, it's a double-sided. Wow, I'm so impressed. Wonder if that's just left over. Maybe that's why it doesn't have a spot left over from last year. Here's a couple of rockin' cats, a rockin' ghost. We've got a boo over here. What does he do? Oh, you I guess you put a candle behind him three different styles in this candle holder. Boo, cat, and the haunted house. Got some spider webs with spiders on them. This one is glow in the dark. Okay, so much more to uncover. I'm kind of letting people shop, so I'm not in their way. But first of all, you see that ribbon in that basket? You see this pumpkin felt? It's felt pumpkin. Oh my gosh, do you need an easy Halloween costume this year? Dollar Tree has you covered. It's an accessory kit. You can totally be a deer. Oh my gosh, or a ladybug. It's a ladybug skirt. Oh my gosh, and then they have the ladybug ears. A buzz buzz, a ladybug. Ladybugs don't buzz. Oh, a headband, this is so fun. Oh my heavens, I love this so much. Little bat ears. I also know Dollar Tree typically has a bunch of different skirts, like fairy kind of stuff. Okay, I'm missing stuff. Ooh, they have a spooky ghost. They have some skeletons. Oh, are these outdoor decor? No, this is a banner. You know what I've been looking for? Oh, this banner is pretty cute too. I've been looking for those pumpkins that you fill up with newspaper. I haven't been able to find them in years. Or do they not make those anymore? I remember doing them every year as a child. Oh, look at this one. It's a witch. 
It's a witch. What does it say? It says we all have a bit of magic in us. These are just like a bunch of scarves. I don't wear scarves because I'm hot 99% of my life. I try to deny it, but that, those are the facts. They have a glow-in-the-dark stinking skeleton for a dollar. I'm amazed. And then they have an orange. Does this also glow in the dark? I don't know, but you can pose his arms and legs. And a white one. Oh my gosh, get the trio. Oh wait, they also have window decorations. That one says, help me. It has ghosts. Oh my gosh, spooky skeletons. Oh wait, hold on. What's that song? Scary, scary, is that it? Scary, spooky skeletons and shivers down my spine. That's it. Oh my gosh, these little plastic pieces of crap. These are a dollar. If you need to decorate your house with them, rip forevermore. <gasps> no, that reminds me of Taylor Swift. Her albums will never die. They will live on forevermore. Oh, they have a boa. Oh my gosh, black and orange. If you are having a party, come on down to the DT. They also have bobbing for apple baskets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this one. It says, creep it real. Found some more corn to decorate your home with. Goals night out. Oh my gosh, if you're having a little party, that's so sweet. I really like this wooden sign with the apothecary jars. Found where this one goes. I wonder if they're all double-sided or if this one is a lone wolf. Yeah, I do like this one. It has the glitter. I hear rumblings. If you spray them with um, hairspray, the glitter won't fall out. So there's that. They, all, they actually have a ton of bags. Oh, are these like trick-or-treating bags? That would make more sense. A candy bucket. Here we go. So they have a ton of different options if you're looking for some candy buckets. They also have, oh, if you're going somewhere and bringing some treats, happy fall wishes. Oh, this is darling for a dollar. Okay. Are those the only two prints they have? Okay, these are the only two that I see, but these are a large size. Here's my hand. I've got pretty big hands. Never too much candy. Oh my gosh, that's my kids every single day. If you're rehearsing for Hamlet, they also have these spooky skeleton heads. This is pretty sweet. Is that Hamlet or William Shakespeare? I don't know. Okay, and more flowers on the flower wall. Oh my gosh, I'm way more interested in this though. Cast a spell. These are little cloth bags. Um, I'm sorry, they have a whole other aisle down here of fall stuff, but I'm gonna finish the Halloween stuff first. A lot of skeletons over here. These kind of look sad. Skeleton garland. I don't know, that makes me feel a certain way. Oh, they also have hanging bat skeletons. Those are fun. They have bigger skeletons over here. Oh, a skeleton hand. What is that, a skeleton rat? Oh my God, ooh, I don't like that. It's got a little bobblehead to it. Ooh, a little haystack. Oh, that's cute. Okay, they have some skeleton hands if you want to really freak people out. This guy is a dollar. He hangs. That's pretty fun. Oh, and then they have some skeleton arms that you can put in your lawn. That's fun. We have one of those. It's like arms, legs, and a uh, head, body. I don't actually really know. Here's the skeleton of a spider. Ooh, and then some socks. Oh my gosh, Boo Crew. Love that, darling. I always love the little socks that Dollar Tree has, little spiders, getting a doggy, pumpkin. Ooh, happy Halloween. I wonder if they have a cauldron. Anything? No, not yet. What's down this aisle? LED, oh my gosh, an LED strobe light. Can I try it out? No. Ooh, I wonder how well that works for a dollar. A folding lantern? Oh, that's pretty cute. How many do you get in there? Just one? Yeah, just one. Okay, that's fun if you wanna put these down your driveway. I see a lot of people do that. They also have LED lights. This is a set of 10 lights. Oh, I see a witch, a party bulb. You can put that in your front porch light. We used to do that. Okay, and then here's a little party witch. LED motion sensor witch. Hold on, we have to try this thing out. Is this the one that's hooked up? Show me what you got. <laughs> I like that. That's really cute. For a dollar, I'm so amazed. Okay, how about this ghost? Make a treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Okay, that's pretty fun. Not gonna lie. It's pretty awesome. They have purple and orange lights. I feel like these go really fast. Uh, at least last year, maybe the year before, I remember shopping for them. Oh, some stickers. These are so fun for kids. Oh, I see the cauldron and the witch. I just love it so much. Journaling cards, that's really cute for the kiddos to do a little Halloween craft. We always have like a Halloween get together where we have like, you know, just stuff for the kids to do. A whole array, a whole assortment of spiders down here. Where did these little pumpkins come from? You can do a multitude of things with those. And then they have 
some crafting stuff. This is, what is this called? Sparkle mesh. So they have like, I don't know, spider webs and purple spider webs and different stuff. Then they have orange mesh. They've got black, they have purple. They have all your mesh essentials here at the DT. Then they have some fabric. This is only a dollar for this fabric. I don't know how much fabric you get in here. All right, that's how much. And then they have some fall fabric down here. They've got scarecrows and then the plaid. Oh my word. And then they have these. These are always great. Craft bottle. I will never understand why they wrap these in plastic, but I'm sure there's a reason why. And then they have the lid in gold and silver. That's fun. Oh, and then they have a different style jar. Look at that one. Cool, cool. Making our way up, they have some Halloween picks, giant eyeballs. That actually looks kind of scary. A foam craft kit. Okay, some more crafts for the kiddos. There's eyeballs up there, some roses, some more craft stuff for the kids or for you. I don't care. And then, oh, party favors. Okay, Halloween party. I see you. Pumpkin decorating kit. Oh, that's fun. Do you guys still carve pumpkins? I don't think we carved a pumpkin last year, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what we did. I know we bought a pumpkin. I just feel like we carve it and it goes bad super quickly. I know there's hacks like putting Vaseline all in it and stuff. These are loot bags. Look how cute these loot bags are. Ooh, I wanna put together some loot bags. Look at these cozy socks. Oh, and then they have some foam pumpkins down there. More cozy socks. I think the ghosts actually might be my favorite. They're at the bottom. Oh, okay, and then we're back to summer. Hold on though, right around the corner is fall. Wow, I don't know, like, does this make your heart happy? As happy as it makes my heart. They have some, ooh, berry garland, so cute. Catherine from Do It On A Dime, she has so many DIYs that I just can't even attempt to replicate. This is so pretty though. Why DIY something when you can buy that for a dollar? Give, oh, okay, so these are some wooden harvest signs, some autumn signs. I like this. The initial, is that trend coming back? I feel like it was big, I don't know, 10-ish years ago. They have a bunch of yard stakes. They say, uh, I don't know what they say. Gather together, give thanks. And they've got some corn and sunflowers and stuff like that. Oh, look at this. This sign says gather. I cannot believe this is a dollar. It's unbelievable. This one says home. Oh, and then they have some baskets. Oh, cool. They, I think they come in a set. Well, looks like someone changed their mind on these skull it's a i don't know bag of skulls and then they have a oh, i love these what did we do with these last year I, I feel like i bought some but they were so expensive because i bought them from michael's i might have some left over i don't know i may have donated them i actually can't remember it's irrelevant we also have some bows with skeletons on them that is a fun craft and then they have pumpkins over here you know what i think i feel like we could do a lot of stuff with these on pinterest i'm gonna take them I'm gonna take those home with me and I'm gonna have no regrets about it. Here are some wooden signs that you could DIY. There's some corn, there's some window clings. Oh my gosh, look, what is that, a shoe? I don't know, is it an owl? I honestly can't tell. These are pumpkins, so there's that. Oh, okay, and then they have, what are these, leaves? Yes, these are leaves. So they have these LED lights, nice. Oh, and then these, if you're making your own wreath, that would be a great addition family and friends and football you guys it's almost football season actually we watched one of the first pre-games the other day it was so much fun okay and then more foliage some wreaths semi wreaths what is that really it's garland is what it is really they have a matching tablecloth a couple tablecloths so if you're doing some crafts and you want to protect your table and then they have oh these are large plates they, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. How many come in here? Six pieces for a dollar. Ooh, and then you get this really nice tray for a dollar. And they have matching plates for that. Oh, it's so cute. And then they have little plates down here. Well, they're normal size plates. They're not little, they're smaller than those. Okay, napkins and all that good stuff, cuckoo. But wait, there's more. What's in here? Oh, some more corn in there. A whole bunch of gourds, a whole bunch of pumpkins. Those look like plaid pumpkins in there. Ooh, the glittery pumpkins. Those will go pretty fast. Some more, I mean, it's pumpkins galore here. If you need a pumpkin, you come on down to the DT. Okay, little pillows over here. What are you gonna do with this pillow? Grateful hearts gather here. Bunch of little random pillows. I feel horrible. I skipped over these. Look at the little tea light with a, I actually don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, there's pumpkins, a skull, and a ghost on there. And then they have some battery-operated mesh lights. 
And I totally overlooked these doormats. Just a fast, easy way to get in the season. Tis the season to be spooky. This one says trick or treat. Just for a dollar? I'm amazed. Did we did we see this? I don't think so. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh, it's a steak light. Cool. Oh my gosh. And they have some temporary hair. They have temporary hair color here. At Target, this easily sells for five bucks. I'm gonna see if they have more. I'm in shock and disbelief. I have yet to explore this aisle, so I guess we'll do that. Some more socks right here, low cut socks. Oh my goodness, a little wicked. Oh, it just says wicked on there. What is it, a cat with a witch hat? That is so fun, witch's brew. <gasps> Will I fit in these? I shouldn't get them. Woo! These are really sweet trick or treat. They have all kinds of socks in here. So that is fun. Okay, they even have a lot of glasses with a little skeleton hand. Spooky, ooh, spooky lookies. What's the song? How does it go again? Scary, spooky skeleton. Will that be a thing this year or will something new come up? Happy Halloween. We've got some pumpkins with boo. Four cups for a dollar. I know some people pack cups instead of bags with treats because the cup is also usable, reusable. Oh, a little spider net. They have black, they have purple, they have orange. And then they have little treats. This one says, stay spooky. I do believe I'll do that. Trick or treat. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, I'm in love. And this one has a haunted house. It says, happy Halloween. Oh my word. I was 1000% not expecting to see this much Halloween stuff. They have shot glasses. <gasps> they have novelty witch glasses. They have unicorns with a witch hat on it. Well, that's something I've never seen before. A unicorn and a unicorn wearing a witch hat. They have a couple napkins. Creep it real. Wow, that's hilarious. And then a bunch of plates. How many come in here? I want to say 10. Oh my gosh, above and beyond my expectations. 18 plates come in here. 18 for a stinking dollar. Oh, and then little treat cups. This is fun, a little treat cup. You get six cups in here. I just, oh my gosh, I can't even believe. Of the Boo Crew is here. I'm gonna scan these boxes. These are really sturdy boxes. Spook, oh, have a spooktacular Halloween. So again, these come in two different sizes and I assume they're both a dollar. Not only is this bigger in width, it's also bigger in width. Ooh, where are the rest of these? I don't know. They have pumpkin boxes. And then they have a bunch of, uh, well, let's just say it, it's crap. They have, oh, you know what my favorite piece of crap though is? Witch fingers. Always loved those. Party favors, if you will. What comes in here? Oh, sticker boxes, because everyone loves a good sticker box. We have stamps. We have skeleton stickers. We have googly eyes, we have spider, oh, sticky webs, yes. Everyone loves a good sticky web. That's probably one of the favorites. Spider rings, this would be fun to decorate with. Man, now I'm gonna go home and Pinterest everything and get ready for my like Halloween cook with me. All kinds of treats will brew up. They have balls in festive colors. They have a bunch of stamps. The other day we were at Disney and they were trying to sell one Disney stamp for $4. Wentworth really wanted it and I said, you know what, let's go to the DT, okay? They have putty that comes in little ghosts and the shape of a cat, sticky eyeballs. Oh, that would be all over my house, man. A hopping toy. What else do they have? Oh, stencils right there. Oh, and then go big or go home with these gem spiders. Oh, okay, they have more hopping toys on the left here, kind of middle for you. Surprise favors, that'll keep them busy for about five seconds until it breaks. Okay, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, a gnome, a gnome kitchen towel. This is amazing. Where am I, Home Goods or the stinking Dollar Tree? Have a spectacular Halloween. These are pot holders. And then they also have pretty decent quality kitchen towels. Oh my, is this the Dollar Tree? I can't even believe it. They have cookie cutters, three for a dollar. I'm outside my mind. They also have baking cups. How many do you get in here? Oh, 18, 18 pieces for $1 at Michael's. Easily, this would be $17.99, 40% off. They have some really nice prints in here too. Oh my gosh, another kitchen towel. I totally forgot that one. And a massive hand mitt. Do they have two prints? I see two prints. Unreal. It's unreal. Oh my gosh, that you have even more cookie cutters. 
I am, oh wow, I'm beside myself. Love potion number nine. This book opens up, so if you're gonna decorate, this is a dollar? Are you kidding me? Why didn't we go down this aisle first? I am shocked, shocked, shocked. I can't even believe that's a dollar. We're gonna put that right there. I don't know where the rest of them are. Look at that, look how cute that little witch face is. Oh my gosh, I wanna take her home and squeeze her. What is this? I'm, oh my gosh. I don't know if these have tags. Where are they? Right here. You can, salad tongs. Dude, these are so cool. Skeleton tongs. Oh, they come as a set. You get two, that's it. I don't even know what to say at this point. Two for a dollar? That is one screaming deal. You also get some buckets down here. Want just one for a dollar, but I think they could have more prints than I'm showing. Mm, they have a pumpkin. Oh, they have a fall print. Oh, they have a spooky print. All right, well, that's all. They also have some coffin containers. That'll be pretty fun. Oh, you get four of these for a dollar. Imagine the possibilities. They have, oh, multiple colors. This one kind of looks like a cauldron, just saying. And then they have some spooky face activity books. They have a couple of table covers over here. This one has all the skulls and cool stuff. This one has more cool stuff, witches and pumpkins and spiders, both very cool. This one kind of looks like a watermelon, but if that's your vibe, they also have this one with a spooky haunted house. Don't get pencils from the Dollar Tree. Just don't do it unless you want to, and then you go ahead and do it. They're very hard to sharpen, but the erasers, probably great quality. Notepads right there. These are more party favors. Cool. And then they have this really large, giant Halloween coloring pad. Oh, more boxes. Okay, so we have these like candy skulls, uh, little different sizes, a small one, large one, both delicious. Oh my, are you getting me? Someone look at this. Look at what someone put together. They, we have witch spell books. We've got love potion number nine and we have scary stories. Oh, stop it right now. Stop it right now. Um, this is the book from Hocus Pocus. Oh, look, we even have spider. Oh, scary stories. Okay, so they come in different sizes. We even have Happy Halloween. What's the other one we saw? There it is. Oh, it's a love potion. Well, there it is, folks. Doesn't get any better than this if you plan to decorate four dollars on that and people will come over and be like unbelievable and they all open all of them the quality i mean dollar tree are you kidding me i guess i'll show you the fronts of them cool 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 here they are here they are we have cauldrons we have skulls we have green pumpkins and yellow pumpkins i mean orange i did go to kindergarten it was some time ago so sometimes i forget my colors loot bags a couple different kinds of loot bags this one has candy corn on them i'm surprised i haven't seen any candy yet i guess they're still stocking Ooh, look at that it's animals dressed up for Halloween. It doesn't get more fun than that. Drawstring treat bags. We have zipper treat bags. Surprise bags. More surprise bags. Welcome fall. That zips shut. We have a cat. We have some sunflowers. We have trick or treat and a spooky little spider. A spooky little spider. We have some socks. A witch. These are low cut comfy socks. We have a witch, we have some birds, we have, oh, fabulous, ooh, that's fun. Okay, ooh, summer, cross that out. Okay, first of all, this is like the most organized Dollar Tree I've ever seen in my entire life. This is their crafting corner. You know those Dollar Trees that you like dream about and you're like, why does everyone else have a better Dollar Tree than me? Um, this is one of those Dollar Trees. Everything is so nice. Look at these rob ro ro robots rocking robots. Do the robot dance. Anyone? No? Okay, this says ooh la ooh la 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 la. Anyone remember making the band with P. Diddy? <laughs> is he still called P. Diddy or just Diddy? Who knows anymore? Don't be the same, be better. Well, that's, that's good quality advice right there. Okay, I don't see any Halloween stuff, but I just felt like I needed to share this aisle with you. I am just amazed. The aisles are first of all spacious. There's not boxes stacked up everywhere like in all of my local Dollar Trees. I need to take this six hour drive more often. Take a peek on this. My Dollar Tree never really has organizing bins and this one just has them galore. 
right up front. I know this isn't fall related, but you know, sometimes people organize in the fall time, right? I have to share this with you. I'm in the hair aisle. You guys, I just bought some of these hair buns, donuts, whatever they're called, off of Amazon. It came in a pack, so there were more than one, but I spent like nine to $15, I don't remember. Like, why did I do that when I could have just come on down to the DT and got it for just a few dollars? I could have got some hair clips, unreal. I'm in the hair section. First of all, they have white rain and rave, which is cracking me up, Aquanet over here pretty funny but they do have some hair masks and I don't see the spray hair color I assume that'll be in the Halloween section but I do see some semi-permanent hair color hair dye so if you're I don't know child really wants to commit I am shocked at how much stuff we found oh my word are you freaking out I can't believe we found so much stuff inside the Dollar Tree fall and Halloween and it's only August. I know, I know it's only August, but sometimes if you don't get these things right away, especially at the Dollar Tree, you miss out. So you have to get there early, otherwise you get FOMO. I'm just kidding. I mean, you don't need any of this stuff, obviously. The only thing I got were the little cauldrons, and of course I had to get the skeleton hands. I, it's a must. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I don't typically go to Target and Dollar Tree on the same day, so I hope you enjoyed me combining the videos. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!